audio. We start the video in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello there, my Tracker! Get your comes out. Welcome to another episode of a series I like to call Let's Fix. This is a series where we take any Call of Duty Zombies map and we fix it. So we list five ways on how we can fix it. And today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let's fix Shangri La. Uh, so, yeah, Shangri La has a reputation of being a very difficult map. App, and people always complain about it. It's always some people. Some people, it's even their least favorite map. And I don't get it. Why does a lot of people hate this map? I got this map this summer. I got it this summer. Mur, this past summer. And when I played it, I'm like, yeah, it's hard. But when I was replaying it, and I was going through, what is there a fix? What did they do wrong? Um, I couldn't find out what they did wrong. I had to literally dig through YouTube. And even then, I couldn't find anything. They, these three things I'm going to list, yes, I'm only listing three, are really just nitpicks. And then after that, I'm going to be telling you what they did right. I'm going to tell you why Shangri-La deserves to be, be in everyone's at least a top 10 list. Because there's not that much wrong with the map when you really break it down. There really isn't. So let's get into this. Let's fix Shangri-La. Uh, so first off, I want to see more of the elaborate traps that they had and that kill zombies. Now the traps that they had, and by that I mean like the things that are slowing sliding down the walls that slide down, the mud, it, the, what's it called, called, um, god, it's on the tip of my tongue, the spikes, <laughs> that's it, the spikes that come, come out of the doorway in the spawn room, have those more around on the map, I'm pretty sure they have one trap, and that's the one near the waterfall, something like that, it's very intuitive, 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 intuitive. like, more complex, or like, it, elaborate traps that can be used to kill zombies maybe have, have something that's homaging indiana jones have a boulder come down and kill the zombies that'd be sick like that'd be awesome some freaking just uh, you're in a jungle setting do you know how many traps you can have ewok style and just have logs coming down and nailing the zombies it means like on the bridge that'd be a perfect part Right there, a log comes down, there's a branch hanging across, and you activate the trap on one end, and a log comes down, on, and just destroys the zombies. That would be freaking sick, if you ask me. So, I think they should add a bit more elaborate traps, and maybe let those spiky things kill zombies. That'd be pretty cool. Next thing we've got is longer rounds between napalm zombies and creature zombies. Because these things come almost every round after round five it, it's actually crazy considering that the only viable training spot that i'm used to is the spawn room the napalm spawn zombie spawns right in the middle of the open spot over there same with the screecher and they are really really annoying when you get down to them i out of my four attempts and four attempts of freaking and Again, playing Shangri-La for this gameplay that you're seeing. Three of my four attempts. And the reason I died was because of the freaking napalm um, zombies. They're blocking my path or making me have to change my route. And I'm not talking about attempts like I, I, lo I lost four quick revives after we start the game. I mean, like, four quick revives. This is actually my second attempt that you're watching. My first attempt went horribly wrong, but this next attempt didn't go too too bad. And then the final thing that we got is PhD Flopper should work for fire. I don't care what you're saying. It should be set in stone. PhD Flopper helps with fire. This could really, really help against the napalm. Um, I'm sure you could just get up to him and he'll blow up, but I've never tested to see if that, that works with PhD. And I don't dare to test it because shangri is hard to set up enough i don't need it to be any harder so well, just have it so when you have phd flopper you're basically immune to the freaking napalm zombie you're immune to it that's how it should be be phd flopper you spend 2000 points you're immune to the immune to explosives and fire that's how it should be that's how it should be but 
those are my things on how to fix Shangri-La. I really can't think of anything else. You may be thinking, oh, this is a shit video. Why do you even make this? Because so many people give Shangri-La hate. So, I've seen on YouTube so many people hate Shangri-La. Why do people hate this map? I'll tell you something that they do freaking amazing. Something they do better than other zombies map. Let's start off with monkeys. Freaking, what to call them? Ascension head monkeys. What do they do? They take your poor perks and it's annoying. It's annoying as hell. But what does the Shangri-La monkeys do? They give you an even playing field. Okay, they take your power off. That sucks. But if you get a heart clicker on the ground, you can change that to a max ammo, or a nuke, or an insta kill, or a double point. Take all those useless freaking points and turn it into something amazing. You can freaking can change it. That is awesome. It also has the most elaborate way to get to, to the pack punch system. And yes, I will admit, it is annoying when you have multiple players. But nine times out of ten, I'm either playing solo, low, or or I'm playing with my friends. And it's actually not that bad to set up the the, the pack a punch. Even even if so, eventually some people will get the idea. Okay, we're gonna need a pack a punch punch soon. And zombies really is an experience that you need to play by talking with other people. But well, except for extra zombies, that doesn't count really. But I freaking. And Shangri-La has the most unique methods of transportation. They have the mine cart and they have the freaking waterfall. Those things are sick methods of transportation. They are absolutely insane. It's so creative on Treyarch's end. And the only bad thing that I see about the map is that it's hard. That's really all I see. Personally, I think Shangri-La, the more I play it, I think you'll personally make it into my top top five list because it's a really good map I mean honestly sit down and try and listen to me five things that are, you can do to fix Shangri-La oh my god burp city Forget list five things for me list five things for me that you can do to fix Shangri-La leave in the comment section below anyway hope you guys have enjoyed the video it may have been a shorter let's fix not really that organized but I just had to let out, out that, that Shangri-La, it doesn't need to be fixed. Which is why, a, not tomorrow, but Sunday, I'll be uploading another Let's Fix of Let's Fix called The Dead. Because I feel like I kind of cheated you guys with the Shangri-La stuff. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading a gaming Let's Talk. And it's going to be a very ranty one and a very sweary one. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later.